Okay, Gordon, it's you. We got one minute according to my clock. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm looking for something. Have I? Will the uh, YouTube recording show all our faces also? No, it won't. Okay. Only those who are speaking will. Thank you. Okay. Well, maybe I should share the screen since I'm going to do a song that nobody knows. We've done it before, but here. Oh, well, um, maybe can you um, allow me to share a screen? Who's that? Uh, Lauren? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're going to do this song. Let's see. I'll make it bigger, 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 bigger. Let's see if it will go. We'll start with the lilies. They're familiar. I've actually heard these lilies used for many songs. I think it's a Shlomo Karl Bach Nigun. But I learned it originally with this um, blessing. Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Mi ni kholot mahi Ma'im rabim adirim Mish ureyam Adir b'maroh Adonai I'm going to sing that verse again so you can get that. Mi kholot ma'im Ma'im rabim madirim Mishpureyam Adir b'maroh Adonai Edotecha Levit Hanava Kodesh Adonai Lorech Yami Yalalai Lai 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 Yalalai Lai 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 Yalalai Lai 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 La 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Thank you, Gordon, and Shabbat Shalom to everyone. It's good to see you as much as I can see you on Zoom, but I actually can. So um, 
<clears throat> it's great uh, that you're with us. Uh, obviously, I think um, for most Jews in America, certainly those of us who belong to synagogues, uh, there's only been one thing on our mind this past week, and that's uh, last Saturday's Shabbat um, hostage situation at the small reform synagogue in Texas outside of Fort Worth. Um, I know that um, many Jewish leaders, uh, including uh, myself and Lauren, we've been on webinars all week uh, about security. Um, we've met with our board, we've met with our newly formed um, safety committee. And I just want you to know that we are doing everything we can uh, to um, enhance and improve the security at CBS. Uh, we have trainings coming up. Um, we have uh, a number of meetings uh, with uh, the Napa Police Department. Um, and we have a lot of resources at our disposal. <clears throat> Over the years, I've been pretty critical of the um, institutional Jewish community in my books and in my talks. Uh, but I have to say the Jewish community uh, in moments like this is pretty impressive. And there are a lot of resources available and we are gonna spend uh, the weeks and months ahead doing all that we can uh, to make CBS um, as safe, but also as welcoming as, as we can um, in light of these um, ongoing challenges um, and difficulties that we all face um, as anti-Semitism um, and hate crimes um, seem to be on the rise. Um, and I have to say, having <clears throat> watched one webinar with the ADL where they interviewed the rabbi, um, what he did and, and what those uh, other congregants did, I think there were four of them total on a, on a Saturday morning, was pretty heroic um, and that they were able to stay so calm and collected and essentially self-rescue themselves um, is really uh, awe-inspiring. And, and so I hope with, with more awareness and with more training um, and, and hopefully we will never, ever have to do something like that. But um, I think we, we all need to hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. And that's all I know anyone can, can really do. So keep an eye out for, for emails and communications. And um, please, please, please make what we're offering a priority uh, and participate in everything that we're doing, whether it's virtual or in person um, in the weeks ahead. It's really, really very important, both for yourselves as well as for others um, in our community. So enough of that public safety announcement. Um, we're here to celebrate Shabbat. And I'd like to invite um, Roberta Solomon, a board member, um, to uh, light candles for us at home. And Gordon's going to um, then um, sing the, the blessing so all of us can, can join as well. And if, if you have candles at home, uh, feel free to light them now as well. Shabbat shalom, By the way, the, the, sorry, the blessings on page 120, if you have the prayer book at home. Aruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kidshanu B'Mitzvotav, Pitzivanu Lahadikner, Shel Shabbat. Amen. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotar V'tivanu lehadikner Lehadikner shel shabbat Thank you, Roberta. We're gonna continue on page uh, 138. Gordon, I think you said you, I don't know if it was a new melody you wanted to teach us or if it was just one that you you felt moved uh, to do tonight. Yeah, I just, I thought it'd be nice to do it. It's it's probably very old uh, or you know, not new, but, uh, and we did it in the past, but I don't know if people remember. Well, we'll give it a try. Pretty easy to, to learn. Um, Oh, I, I'm sorry. This is page 138. If you have the prayer book at home, yeah, I can put it up. But we'll we'll have to re revisit that uh, idea of putting things on the screen or not, because I know okay. some people don't like it. So uh, you're on your own for now. <laughs> there we go. It goes like this. 
another y yada lie because <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Le hado di li kakala la 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 ya la la ya la la bene shabbat ne kabla le hado di li kakala ya la la ya la la ya la la bene shabbat ne kabla shamor zahor the deep echa is me on you el ham you had adonai echa ushmo echa the shame of the ferret the lady in la le hadu di le kala ya la la ya la la ya la la ne shabbat Kabla lechado di li kakala ya la la ya la la ya la la ne shabbat ne kabla li krat shabbat lechuv nelcha ki mekor habracha merosh mikedem. Esucha, sof ma aseb maxvat tefila. Yalla la, sorry, lechado di li gratkala. Yalla la, yalla la, yalla la. Pnei Shabbat, ikabela. Lechado di li gratkala. Yalla la, yalla la, yalla la. Pnei Shabbat. Kabela Kitori Kitori Kiva Ore Kubi Ori Uri Uri Shirda Beri Kvoda Dona Allah Nigla Lechado di li kakala Beta yalala yalala Pnei Shabbat Mekabela Lechado di li kakala Yalala 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 Pnei Shabbat Mekabela Can we rise for Boi V'Shalom or whatever you like? Boi V'Shalom Ateret Bala גם בשמחה ובצוהר לה, תוך אמוני עם סגולה, בואי חלה, בואי חלה, לך דודי לי כלכלה, יאללה לה, יאללה לה, יאללה לה, פני שבת. Mekabela, lechado di li kakala, yalala, yalala, lalala, pnei Shabbat. Mekabela. We continue on page 146 with our call to worship, the Baruch Hu. But before we begin that, Gordon, why don't you tell everyone who that is behind you? Is that your grandson? Is that your your evil twin? My evil twin. Who exactly is that? Who's the well, kid? I think it's me. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I wasn't as young as I look. Was that from the Civil War? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it was I'll like leave... in the, about eighteen. Yeah, it was around the eighteen sixties. You're right. Okay. I'll or leave 1960s. the jokes. I'll leave the jokes to you. No, you're, uh, doing, you're doing fine. I, I can handle it. Okay. But uh, I, would, I would think I was in my uh, my mid or late 20s there. You know, now I look like I was 15, but <laughs> anyway. Okay, okay page, so... one, page 146. Okay. Yai, la, 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. 
149. <clears throat> and if you have the prayer book at home, I know uh, a few of you do, uh, please feel, to, feel free to join me. We're going to be reading the English at the bottom of the page. This is an hour of change. Within it, we stand uncertain on the border of light. Shall we draw back or cross over? Where shall our hearts turn? Shall we draw back my brother, my sister, or cross over? This is the hour of change, and within it we stand quietly on the border of light. What lies before us? Shall we draw back, my brother, my sister, or cross over? Baruch atah Adonai Hama'ariv Aravim. Page 151, at the top. As you taught Torah to those whose names I bear, teach me Torah too. Its mystery beckons yet I struggle with its truth. You meant Torah for me. Did you mean the struggle for me too? Don't let me struggle alone. Help me to understand, to wise, to be wise, to listen, to know. Lead me into the mystery. Baruch atah Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. I guess that's your uh, intro to the Shema, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, Shema. Yeah, that's been the intro to the Shema for about a thousand years. So, yeah, that's your cue. <laughs> okay. Uh, often you introduce the Shema. I know, that's so. true. That's true. Boy, he's really pick on Gordon. <laughs> that's Sorry right. about I'm that. I'm glad you're in a good mood. It's good. It's all right. I can do it. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. 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 Baruch Shem Tavod, Shem Tavod Machuto, Le'olam Vahed. Baruch Shem Tavod, Shem Tavod Machuto, Le'olam Vahed. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. The Ve'ahavta is on page 154. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha u'v'chol nachshecha u'v'chol me'odecha v'hayu hadvarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavacha hayom al levavecha v'shinantam levanecha v'dibar tabam v'shivdecha b'veitecha uvlechtecha v'aderech uv'shokbecha uv'kumecha 
Ukshartam la o talya decha, Vahayula tutafot, bain e necha, Uchtav tam, Almazazot be techa, Uvi sharecha, Lamaan tiskaru, Vaasitem et komitz votai, Vitem kidoshim lelo hechem, Ani Adonai Elohechem, Asher Hotzeti Edchem, Meretz Mitzrayim, Liot Lachem Lelohim, Ani Adonai Elohechem. Page 157. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands and marching together. We're on page 158. Um, during one of the interviews with that rabbi from Texas, he mentioned how last Shabbat was Shabbat Shira, uh, the Shabbat where we read from the Torah portion, um, this Micha Mocha prayer. Uh, it's taken from the book of Exodus chapter 15, and uh, that was last week's Torah portion. I think I talked about it last Friday night during services. Um, it's a beautiful song. Uh, we sing it every Shabbat, but, but this past week was when it actually appears in the Torah reading cycle. Uh, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about what happens after that um, in a few minutes. So, uh, Gordon, would you lead us in Micha Mocha? Sure. <laughs> Ya la 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 la, ya ba 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 bim bam. Ya la 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 la, ya ba 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 bim bam. Ni chamocha ba elim adonai. Ni chamocha nedar ba kodesh. No rat hilot o sefelet. No rat hilot. O sefelet, mahala hutcha rau vanecha, oke ayam lifne Moshe umiriam, zeli anu ve amru adunai lo leolam ba ed yam bam bam bim bim ba ya ba 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 bim bam yam bam. Page 161. So Micha the the song that Gordon just sang, is about crossing the Sea of Reeds. It's uh, a prayer about celebration. But this passage I'm about to read, and then the Hashki Venu prayer that Gordon's going to sing afterward, it's not about celebration. It's about protection. It's about asking God to protect us as the sun sets and as the night falls. And I think a lot of us have um, protection on our minds and, and safety and security. Uh, we talk about the Sukkot Shalom, the Sukkah, the shelter of peace. Um, Judaism doesn't talk about waiting around for God to save us, uh, we have to do the heavy lifting ourselves. But it does say that we need to work in partnership with God if we're to have a, a peaceful and a safe and a secure uh, kind of a life. We need to do this in partnership. And this is a prayer that I think um, highlights that idea. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai, haporei sukkat shalom, 
Alenu Val Kola Mo Yisrael, the Al Yerushalayim. Ashki Venu Adonai Elohim, the Shalom, the Shalom, the Hamidinu. Please take a moment now for your own silent thoughts and prayers.
来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来。Odi marahula, shatahu adunai. Eloheinu velohe abuteinu le olam vaen. Odi marahula, shatahu adunai. Eloheinu velohe imuteinu le olam vaen. Oh, give thanks for the sky above, for the new snow of December, for the spring and a summer song that the autumn winds remember. Oh, sing out for the love that grows and the life that flows within us. Oh, be glad, oh, be glad for another day. Oh, Dimanahula. Shatahu Adunai, Eloheinu velohe avoteinu leolam vahen. Odi manahula. Shatahu Adunai, Eloheinu velohe avoteinu leolam vahen. Eloheinu velohe avoteinu leolam. Our thoughts turn now to those who are in need of healing on this Shabbat, healing of body, healing of spirit, and healing of heart. And we ask God to bestow the bracha, the blessing of Rafuah Shlema, full and complete healing on the following men and women from our CBS family or those known and loved by those in our congregation. Harris Nussbaum, Lynn Mikulski, Ilana Massey, Kevin Brackett, Ginny Sims, Eileen Conklin, Nancy Jeanette, Michelle Camisia, Joshua Hyman, Dylan Bonick, Diane Butler, Elsa Loach, Elena Goldman, Mark Charney, Maggie Sherman, Michael Edwards, and Jesse Friedman. And I would also like to add um, all those who were traumatized uh, by last Saturday's um, hostage event um, who are now uh, beginning the process of healing and recovery themselves. And if you have a name that you want to add to this list, I invite you to, to please do so either at home or, or in the chat. Gloria Anderson, Shirley Madsen. Lisa Lefebvre, Marilyn Loden. Charles Lockhart. The Misha Barach is on page 511. Misha Barach Havot Kor Habracha May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. For Habracha Labotainu, bless those in need of healing with Fufua Shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Ah.
Shabbat Shalom again. Good Shabbos to all of you on this uh, very um, eventful week. Um, I mentioned earlier that that rabbi in, in Texas who acted so bravely mentioned that, that the Shabbat last week was sh um, Shabbat, the Shabbat uh, Shira, where we um, read the Micha Mocha prayer, uh, the song led by Miriam and the, the women of Israel that celebrates their, their passing through the Sea of Reeds uh, when, it, when it parts. Um, and the Torah portion now, which is called Yitro or Jethro, is the next one. And it really, um, in some ways, represents the very, very beginning now that the Israelites are, are finally, finally free of the oppression of Pharaoh and his soldiers, uh, because they're no longer an issue, can really begin the process of becoming an independent nation with their own religion. So chapter 18 through 20, which is this Torah portion, and we'll be studying it um, at length uh, tomorrow morning, I, sh I shouldn't say at length, I should say in depth uh, tomorrow morning, um, really represents that beginning. So here we have this band of newly freed slaves. Um, the revelation at Mount Sinai takes place in this Torah portion, but only a little bit later. But at the beginning of the Torah portion, we see that Moses reconnects with his father-in-law, Jethro, or Yitro. Uh, that's how the Torah portion starts, and that's why um, uh, it is called by, by Yitro's name. Um, many of you may know that, that Jethro Moses' father-in-law was not an Israelite. He was a Gentile. He was a Midianite. And he wasn't only a Midianite. He wasn't only a Gentile. He was also a priest, uh, a, a, a spiritual leader um, of that people. Now, at this point in the journey of the Jewish people, and again, this is the very, very beginning. You could argue this Torah portion is really the very first Torah portion of the Jewish people as an independent people. Um, Moses makes every decision for the Israelites, for their society, by himself. And essentially, without being pejorative, Moses, up until this point, exercises autocratic rule. Every decision made in the life of the people of Israel is made by Moses and by Moses himself. Now, Jethro, his father-in-law, don't forget again, he's a Gentile, He's not a, a member of the people of Israel in a formal sense. He admonishes his uh, son-in-law, and he says to him at the beginning of this Torah portion, the thing you are doing is not right. It is low tov. Um, we're going to look at the verse tomorrow morning, but I'll just read uh, the Hebrew for you right now. Um, Jethro confronts him in a loving way, but in a firm way, and, and he says, um, Vayomer choten uh, Moshe elav. Lotov hadavar asher ata oseg. Um, I'm translating it now. The father-in-law of Moses says to him, "This is lotov. This is not good. Um, this thing that that you are doing." So that takes a lot of guts on on the one hand. And all of you who are father-in-laws or, or mother-in-laws know it's not always that easy to do something like that. But he confronts Moses, and he says, "This is not a good thing that you're doing." And it's a little ambiguous. What does it mean? That this thing you're doing, making all these decisions yourself, is low tov. It's not good. Uh, the translation we have uh, here is that it's not right. But that could mean it's a, it's a practical statement. And that could mean what Jethro is really saying is, you know, th this style of governance is not practical. It's not workable. Uh, it, it, it's not, it's not, it's not going to be effective. That's one way of reading his statement. Um, this is just not a practical way to govern your people. But it could also be read as a moral statement. What you are doing is wrong. What you are doing is unethical. Making all of these decisions by yourself um, is, is not the just, fair, and, and moral way of, of governing this people. Tov actually means good. So it's not really clear what Jethro is saying. He could be saying both. You know, this, this way of governing your people not only is, is not practical, it's not workable, but it's also unethical. It's also not the right thing to do. And so Jethro, Moses' Gentile father-in-law, advises him to choose another path. And he does this sort of privately. You know, he doesn't embarrass Moses 
in front, front of everyone. He does this with a certain degree of tact and, and diplomacy. Um, he's a pretty wise person. He's a leader uh, in his own right, as I said. And he says, instead of exercising uh, unilateral rule, this kind of autocratic way of governing, you should establish a group of judges. You should establish a group of, of advisors, of, of um, leaders among your people, wise people, uh, people of integrity, um, and, and let these people, they're, they're men at, at this point, don't forget we're dealing with antiquity, uh, let these men help you to resolve the disputes, to resolve the conflicts that happen as you begin to build a people, as you be, begin to construct a society. Um, Moses ultimately calls the shots on the major issues, but on all the, the minor issues, um, the hundreds and maybe thousands of other uh, conflicts that are going to occur even early on in the life of the Jewish people, let these other people decide them. So what Jethro really advises him to do is establish a judiciary um, very early on. And what, and, and what this system does, uh, the system of law and governments, in many ways really puts limits on Moses's power and authority. I don't know that you would call it, call it truly democratic in the way that most of us think of uh, democracy uh, to, today, but it is certainly more representative of the people than what, what, what Moses was doing um, before this moment. Now, Moses agrees. Moses listens to his father-in-law. Uh, Moses agrees to this new system of governance, and he follows the counsel of this Midianite uh, priest, of this uh, Gentile um, who advises him uh, of, of what to do. And in that way, this is really a team effort. We're at the very beginning of the Jewish people um, as a people, as a nation, as a society. It's a team effort. It's a family affair. And in my mind, what it does is establishes three fundamental principles that have governed Jews for 6,000 years. The first one is the importance of decentralization. Once the temple was wiped out 2,000 years ago, there was no central authority in Judaism. There was no central institution. We haven't had a pope. We haven't had a temple. And all of our individual Jewish communities around the world, whether in Napa or in Istanbul or in Hong Kong, we all have our own individual autonomy. So the Jewish community in Napa which is represented in large measure by, by all of us, we have our own individual autonomy as, as your rabbi. Um, I don't even know how much authority or power I have, but, but I do know that, that I do not have to answer to a chief rabbi. I don't have to answer to a pope. I don't have to, have to answer to the leader of the reform movement. And so I and, and we have our own uh, autonomy, you know, and, and, and we are allowed uh, by virtue of the way the Jewish community is set up to decide what kind of a community we want, what kinds of practices we want, how we want to observe our holidays, uh, what kind of a governance structure we have, board, committees, et cetera, and so on and so on and so on. But that goes back, and, and, and that applies to virtually every Jewish community around the world uh, today, certainly in the non-ultra-Orthodox uh, world. Uh, and even there, um, there's a high degree of decentralization uh, and autonomy. But this goes back to this moment that we read about in our Torah portion. So decentralization, I think, is a very important principle. <clears throat> Another one is the influence of and collaboration with Gentiles. And we see that throughout our history. Jews have never been pristine and pure. We've never lived in a vacuum. We have always interacted with our surrounding uh, cultures, uh, most of which were, were not Jewish. The Babylonian Talmud, this masterwork of rabbinic literature, was composed in the fourth, fifth, and sixth century in Babylonia. And it reflects a lot of the intellectual ferment that was happening um, at that place and, and, and in that time. The golden age of Spain, uh, Maimonides and some of the great uh, uh, works, the Guide for the Perplexed, uh, which was written in Arabic, 
we see a lot of influence and interplay between the Jewish and the Muslim um, thought leaders of, of, of that day. Uh, modern Judaism reflects the, the interaction of the Jewish tradition and the ideas of the Enlightenment, which in many ways were largely uh, non-Jewish. Um, so we see this interplay of, of Jewish ideas and, and non-Jewish ideas um, that have really played a very important way in, in determining how Judaism and the Jewish uh, community has evolved um, and changed over the centuries. And then finally, the, the third principle is this focus on the social before turning to the spiritual. In the next chapter, in chapter 19, we have the revelation at Mount Sinai. The Ten Commandments are given. The, the many um, laws and rituals and regulations of our heritage um, are, are given by God to the Jewish people. But that doesn't happen that focus on, on the spiritual doesn't happen until first we have this focus on the social. First, we have to establish a judiciary. First, we, first we have to establish a just and fair uh, society that is healthy and, and, and well run uh, by our leaders. And I think that's another principle that has allowed the Jewish community to, to be around today um, when so many other ancient civilizations have disappeared. And those of you tonight who are on the board or who've ever served on a board or a committee know that if we don't have a, a balanced budget, if we don't have a good staff, if we don't have um, a healthy congregation that runs effectively, all of the deeper and more profound and elevated ideas, our rituals, our holidays, um, our spiritual life, none of that's going to matter uh, uh, unless we um, have uh, uh, a very healthy and, and well-run congregation. And, and that, that I think applies to the larger Jewish community as well. If we don't have a safe and secure community, you know, how can we focus on having a, a great religious school or meaningful services or, or fun fundraising events? Um, so focusing on the, the social, um, on, on our community, before focusing on the spiritual, again, goes back uh, to this Torah portion. So I would close by saying these principles, these three principles and values, a decentralized um, community, uh, uh, and a healthy interplay with the non-Jewish uh, ideas and, and communities around us, and focusing on, on, our, um, our, on our social dimension, on our structural dimension, uh, on our physical well-being, before moving on to the spiritual um, and, and the religious per se. Um, these ideas have sustained the Jewish community for six millennia. And as we uh, continue our journey into this next millennium, I hope that we will use them to guide us no matter what challenges, no matter what obstacles, uh, no matter um, what changes occur um, in our community or around our community. If we do that, I think we'll, we will be around um, for a good long time um, after, after the, the moment we're living in, uh, no matter how challenging we're, we're finding it right now. Can you hear that sound? May it be God's will. Hey, man, gonna... hey, man, might I interrupt for one minute? Yeah, go ahead, Gordon. Okay, so uh, uh, I don't mean to put you in an awkward situation, but it was one year ago uh, during this tour portion that I you weren't here that night and I wrote a kind of a Lin-Manuel Miranda, I tried to channel him and wrote my own little rap version of this tour portion. I thought if you wanted me to just uh, recite that uh, in a sure. as a supplemental to your beautiful uh, drosh tonight. Yeah, go for it. Okay, uh, I, I just I I found it and uh, we'll see if I can do this. Here's what it says. In this week's parsha, Moses' father-in-law learned all that God had done for Israel, his people, the chosen one. Jethro, that was his name, with his daughter Zipporah and her two sons came to the wilderness where Moses was. You may recall because God had delivered them according to depictions recorded in transcriptions from the Egyptians and a narrow-minded Pharaoh that God didn't spare. Oh, it was such a slaughter when God drowned them in the water. 
the, the Egyptians were outsmarted as across dry land they started, and God made them the departed, though not referred to as dearly. We remember all of them yearly. And we do not do that merely to cause a fuss, but because it says in Exodus, God delivered them, that's us, from Egypt land under the hand of the Egyptians and Pharaoh there. So these are the descriptions Moses conveyed with good intent to his father-in-law in the tent, which is why in the first place, Yitro went. Jethro was impressed and in the morning he got dressed and watched as Moses assessed every question and request and Jethro said, you must be stressed for you can't be at your best when you never take a rest. Get things off your chest. Is this some sort of test? You're going to get depressed? So Moses, whom God had blessed upon Jethro's behest, took his father-in-law's advice with zest. Moses didn't have to bother but chose to heed Sephora's father. Not just to be nice, listening would suffice, but because Jethro was one of those guys who was very, very wise. Plus, when Moses looked into his wife's eyes, he didn't want her to despise him, so he thought twice and took her papa's advice. Moses chose the wisest men. Were women wise, you asked? Not then. And these men now took on the task of answering questions that people would ask. It wasn't a job that Moses hated, but at Jethro's suggestion, he delegated. Most matters were minor, a piece of cake. Matters were more serious, Moses would take. Then Moses was happier, that's no surprise. He rested and lost the bags under his eyes. Then Jethro, Zipporah, and their little band kissed Moses goodbye and went back to their land. And what do, you, what do we learn from this Parsha today? Go think about it, for all I can say is, when magistration is running you raw, it doesn't hurt to have a father-in-law. So that's what we have. <laughs> that's good. I think all you need are a few more of those uh, poems and a multiracial cast. And I think we should take it to Broadway. There you go. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. No, that, that was actually really good. I like that. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to page 586 and uh, continue with Alenu. Okay, thanks for indulging me on that. That was great. Let's see. Alenu le Shabbat Adon Hako. La tate kedula liot seher breshit. Shelo asanu kigo ye haratzot. Velo samanu kamish pochota adama. Shelo sam chelkenu kahem. Vigo rale nu kecho hamonam. Vanach nu korim. Umishachavim umodim. Lifne melech mahe hamachim. Hakadosh Baruch Hu V'ne'emar V'haya Adonai L'melech al kol ha'aretz Ayom ha'hu Ayom ha'hu Iye Adonai Echad U'shemo 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 I have the uh, pleasure and honor of inviting Eve Khan, another board member. We started with Roberta, and we're going to end with, uh, well, we're not ending yet, but we're, we're going to have the announcements by Eve. So Eve, would you please share some important words with us? Absolutely. Um, we will continue to be on Zoom throughout January for Friday night Shabbat services. If you are unable to join on Zoom, the YouTube channel will have services available and ready to view after the live service is completed. Saturday, January 22nd, Rabbi Goldstein will lead Torah study on Zoom at 10.30 a.m. Religious school will take place in person, outdoors, on the 23rd and the 30th, and the teen event will also be held outdoors on the 30th. CBS will host Zach Bodner, who's the author of Why Do Jewish? This, this is very interesting. I had not heard of this, so it's intriguing me. Um, so join him for a discussion online via Zoom on February 9th at 8 p.m. Online registration is required to access the Zoom link. And while you're there, welcome, you're welcome to order a special signed copy of the book for a discounted rate of $18. Always, please ensure you read our weekly newsletter for updates related to all community topics. And we'd like to give warm wishes to this week's birthday and anniversary. Uh, Members, happy birthday to Lola Safer, Henny Cohn, Ari Loring, Quinn Rydenow, 
Audrey Lieberstein, Judy Bicell, Michael Cosen, Diego Turnbow, who was turning one, he's one of our newest <laughs> members, uh, and Robert Solomon. And happy anniversary to Stephen and Juliana Weissman, their 56th anniversary, and Anthony and Kim Borders, their 43rd. Thank you. Thank you, Eve. And again, uh, for those of you who can, I hope I'll see you tomorrow morning uh, for Torah study if you want to learn about Moses and Jethro. Um, and you're going to be getting an email on Sunday, but in light of what I've been talking about tonight, just to save the date, uh, on the evening of February 3rd, it's a Thursday, um, we're going to be doing uh, our first training with the Napa Police Department. Uh, you're going to get a lot more um, information about this on Sunday, but if you can save the evening of February 3rd, uh, I hope all of you will participate. As we reach the end of our service, our thoughts turn to those who are no longer with us, those who have died both recently and in seasons past. We think of those who have died during this past year. Michael Duff Fisher, Margaret Mary Oliveto, Ahuva Ben David, Dr. I. Harold Shevlin, Isadora Smith, Elliot Capchan, Sanford Rubin, Stuart Paley, Bonnie Kapiloff Mamie, Dr. Ian Miller, Jimmy Rabb, Sandra Somick, Michael Gordon, Larry Elson, Bill Chiat, Arnold Trombler, Erica Cornelison, Gladys Shubin, and Richard Magano. We also remember and honor the yard sites, the anniversaries of the deaths of Mort Cohen, Sylvia Wiedler, Robert Spitz, Rita Press Cohen, Eva Finkelstein, Enoch Goldstein, Aubrey Farb, Helen Goodman, Isaac Sternkler, Ethel Goldstein, and Jewel Altman. And if anyone has a name they wish to share, uh, please do so at home or in your chat. The Mourner's Kaddish is on page 598. Val Kol Yisrael, Vimru Amen. Ose Shalom Bimru Mav, Huya Se Shalom, Aleinu Val Kol Yisrael, Vimru Amen. May the source of peace grant peace to all those in mourning and comfort to all those who are bereaved. And let us all say, Amen. We have a final song before Kiddush and Motzi. Gordon, what are you going to, what would you like to do tonight? I thought um, we would do uh, Gesher Tzar Ma'od tonight. Perfect. Can I just translate what that means for people? Yeah, why don't you do that? Sure. Uh, it means all the world is a bridge and the main thing is to not be afraid. And I think uh, in difficult times like these, it's important to try to not be afraid. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Haolam kulo Gesher tsar mo Gesher tsar mo Gesher tsar mo O haolam kulo Gesher tsar mo Gesher tsar mo The high car, the high 
Okay, we are going to end with Kiddush and Motsi. So if you have, um, if you have uh, wine and challah or crackers or any kind of starch at home, now's the time to grab them. And we are going to invite, or not we, that's the royal we. I am going to invite Bunny and Betty Goldstein, uh, who are comfortably at home. I'm trying to find you on my screen. Oh, there you are. You're at the top. Um, <laughs> You're going to lead us in the blessings, right? Okay. So why don't you go ahead and lead us in the Kiddush? Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, borei pri ha'gafen. Amen. Gordon, you want to chant it for us? Okay. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, borei pri ha'gafen. Amen. Okay, Bunny and Betty, would you lead us in the motzi? Yes. yes. Here we go. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, amotzi lecha min ha'aretz. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, amotzi lecha min ha'aretz. Amen. Before I say Shabbat Shalom to everyone and we all leave, very interesting phenomenon tonight. We have Betty and Bunny Goldstein, Goldstein. We have Lauren and Alan Goldstein. And we have Rabbi Niles Goldstein. That's that's not bad for a small, relatively small congregation. Let's hear it for the Goldsteins. <laughs> Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.